Well, I mean, there are three questions. One, can we avoid a, a, a real, another real economic plunge? Um, that then raises questions, what might spark that off? A general war in the Middle East, a clash between America and China. If we can avoid that, I think we have some, possibly a couple of decades. The other thing, of course, is, is bringing migration under some kind of control. I mean, it's, it's clear that populations will not tolerate a situation in which they see themselves you know, as being in future reduced to minorities. This is the story of whites in the United States, you know, faced with the, the prospect of becoming only a plurality. It, you know, this does play a big this part. This was the secret of Trump's success. Absolutely. The, the, the next question is um, whether uh, we can control, we can shape economies so that automation doesn't th throw huge numbers, more people out of work. Terrifying statistic. The biggest single employer today in California is Uber. If, in the years to come, we see a move to automatic cars, the white working classes, having been hunted out of their previously what they thought were safe industrial jobs into service jobs, then lose the service jobs and are reduced basically to fighting for scraps with immigrants. What then? What then? What then? And then looming behind that, of course, is, the, is, is climate change, although, although that, that's something that will come, you know, come in incrementally over a long period. But of course, uh, as, as we heard today, I mean, that is likely to also increase migration flows in a way which could drive domestic it's population. A, it's the main reason for migration from Africa. Exactly. But as, as I said, I mean, I think that compared to people in the, in the 1930s, Democrats in the 1930s, we have time, some time, not much, to, to, to try to devise you know, answers to this. And I, I obviously pray that we can. Mm -hmm.